Yes, let's go. I am so fired up. The World Cup has started, which means it's time for the very, very serious news around the World Cup. Cup basic video. 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 Very curious news item. Number one, Saudi Arabia is bad. After starting the first game of the World Cup with a ton of energy and some meaningful possession in Russia's half of the field, they failed to close down one cross and mark one guy at the back post 12 minutes in, they gave up a goal and they never recovered, giving up another before half and then becoming completely listless in the second half. And by listless, I mean by giving up three more goals to lose 5-0, which means unless something drastic happens within their team, and I'm not sure what the manager can do at this point because they can't can't zero zero their way to the knockout rounds now. That would give them two points, and you definitely would not go through with two points. So it seems like the Saudis are most likely going to be handing out three points to everyone else in this group. Now, with this said, I don't want to take anything away from the Russians and their performance because after a few nervous moments in the first half, and after their number nine, Alon Zagoyev, went off due to a hamstring injury, and I think he's out for the whole tournament, they took it to the Saudis, and especially Zagoyev's replacement, Denis Cheryshev, who has dealt with his own injuries and disappointment during his club career, which started started with so much promise with Real Madrid, but hasn't really gone as everyone expected, himself included, I'm sure. Well, he scored two unbelievable goals in this game, so maybe things are going to turn around for him. Also, he wasn't the only one who stood out for Russia because there were quite a few that played well, but the one I want to highlight is 22-year-old midfielder Alexander Golovin, who plays for Seska Moscow at the moment, but he probably won't be playing for them after this tournament, especially if he keeps up this type of performance where he set up a few goals and scored one of his own on a free kick. So in summation, I want to say two more things about this. One, I know this performance for Russia is a bit skewed because Saudi Arabia played so poorly so I guess we're only gonna know how good the Russians are when they face someone a little bit better like Uruguay. But and this is number two Russia knew that they were playing Saudi Arabia since last December so the build-up for this game and the expectations for them to play well during it must have been an overwhelming amount of pressure but they handled it and they handled it well and I bow down to them for that because I mean imagine if they had lost there would have been riots but that didn't happen, and now they're most likely one point away from qualifying for the knockout rounds because I believe this plus five goal difference is really gonna come in handy. Very curious news item. Number two, Robbie Williams gets the peace sign wrong. Because FIFA apparently isn't willing to pay money to a singer that people still listen to, we were treated to Robbie Williams, who, don't get me wrong, I enjoy his music 20 years ago, and during his performance, he completely forgot how to give the peace sign and instead only used one finger, the middle one to be exact, to express his love to the rest of the world. So I guess that means I love you too, Robbie. Very curious news item. Number three, the not as special as he used to be one has spoken. That's right, Jose Mourinho has come out and said that he thinks England can win the World Cup, claiming that because all of the players play in the most competitive competition in the world, the Premier League, that could prove to be the difference. First off, the Champions League called Jose, and they want a word with you about the most competitive competition part, though maybe you're right since Real Madrid are winning it with ease these days. Second, I am happy that you said, Jose, that the Premier League was the most competitive and not the best because I'm pretty sure La Liga would have called and argued otherwise since they win all of the European trophies more often than not. And third, and this is for all of you, if England wins the World Cup as Mourinho suggests that they can, then I will get a tattoo of their manager Gareth Southgate's face on my butt that says, in Gareth we trust. And that is a promise. I'm going to put it right here. Well, like, it's right here. Yeah, right there. All right, that is it. That is all I got. So I hope you enjoyed the first day of the World Cup. Hit like and subscribe and the notifications for more because a lot more is coming. And I'll see you tomorrow. Later. <laughs>